Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and today in this video we are going to explore vegan diet and its vital role for a kidney failure patient. Before beginning, I want to ask you a few questions. What is a vegan diet and in what way does it contribute towards your kidney good health? Let's try to answer these questions many times people often get confused between vegan and vegetarian. So it is important to understand the difference between the these two terms. The vegetarian diet is a broad term consisting of the plant and plant source foods such as fruits, vegetables, lentils and legumes. Additionally, it also consists of milk and milk made products like cheese, yogurt, cream, butter and so on. But on the other hand, vegan diet consists of only plant and plant based product only. All the animal derived food including milk and dairy products do not form any part of the vegan diet. You may make it a point that vegan diet has been proven to be very beneficial for a kidney failure patient. You must be thinking now how or how staying away from nutrient rich milk and having only a vegan diet can be helpful for a kidneys. So let's try to understand this. Have you ever heard the term chemo? Timau is an inflammatory marker found in high concentration in animal derived food such as red meat, poultry, fish, eggs and even dairy products. This means if you consume any of these food items, Timau level will increase in your body, further increasing the risk of inflammation in the different body parts. Some scientific studies were concluded in which a couple of people were compared and it was seen that the person having a vegan diet had very low TMO levels as compared to the one having a non-vegetarian diet. Moving further, let's talk about the relation between TMO and the kidneys specifically. If you can carefully study the renal cells of a kidney failure patient, then you will find there are two types of cells. First, the cells that have been dead and second, the cells which have become inflamed due to the different reasons like high blood pressure and high sugar levels. While the dead cells can't be made alive, the inflamed cells can be healed and treated to restore their health. To do this, we need a two-way approach. First is medication and second is the dietary modification. If one wants to treat the inflammation and swelling of the kidneys from the root, then medicine alone will not help. Some dietary changes like avoiding non-veg food and switching over a vegan diet is also required. Doing this will reduce the TMO level in the patient's body which will reduce the inflammation, relieving the kidneys to a great extent. So till now we have discussed that how a vegan diet is important for a kidney failure patient. Now suppose you are on a pure vegan diet, no dairy products, no non-veg, no eggs and only consuming plant and plant source food items. So don't you think your body will become deficient in certain essential nutrition like vitamin B12 and vitamin D? Maybe yes. The problem is found in many people having a vegan diet but it can be solved easily by using some smart tips which I am going to give you now. First try to include more and more legumes and lentils in your daily diet. Next. Replacing the animal source milk, you may have soy milk regularly. Similarly, in place of cottage cheese, you may go for tofu, which is a plant source completely. So in this way, a vegan diet can also allow your body to have an intake of all nutrition without any deficiencies. Moreover, this will also contribute towards the fighting of your kidney disease. So this was all in today's video. I hope the concept of vegan diet's importance for a kidney patient is clear to you. If you or any of your loved one are suffering from kidney disease, then go for a, this diet. If you have any other queries related to your kidney health, then you may contact us or share the queries in the comment section below. See you all in the next video with more such useful information. Till then, take care, bye-bye and namaste.